Hey, Breaks, it's Brickley here, and in this video, I'm going to show you my entire Lego The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit shelf. Yes, I got so many of the Lego The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit sets, even got a couple of mocks in between here, which we're going to go and take a look at today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in within this section which is actually awesome i love this mock it's so cool and i think all of the detailing just looks wonderful as you can see everything is detailed nicely with a lot of flowers this mock is actually an instruction made by lego mock lock owned this for two years now and i'm so happy to say that this mock is one of my favorite builds within my lego the lord of the rings collection so far as you can see we got a lot of minifigures and many scenes going on as well of course in the far right over here we get bilbo old bilbo actually right over there with gandalf they're sort of smoking actually as you can see right over here and this is just the scene before the party actually and this old bilbo minifigure is actually a figure i got from fan mail so i don't know what the parts are actually from but i do know that the hair piece is actually painted as you can see over here on the inside it's brown so that is a painted hair piece right here so really a nice scene from the fellowship of the ring of course on the right of bag end then of course we get another time frame right here we got thorin walking up to the door of bag end right here of course you can see it is the original lego the hobbit bag and set door and of course we get another scene from the fellowship of the ring which is actually the scene with frodo reading his book and of course we get gandalf in his chariot right over here so the nice gandalf arrives set integrated into the mock right here of course this mock also has an interior and if you want to see more of this mock of course let me know in the comment section down below and i will give you a detailed review of the lego the lord of the rings bag and mock instruction made by lego mock lock but yeah that's the shire for now of course i really want to expand it in the future it definitely Definitely would be cool to add a Brie mock next to it but as of this moment I actually don't have that as you can see over here we got wetter top which is really an amazing set in my opinion I got all of the nine horses actually only three of the Nazgul over here on top so three of the ring rates and of course over there in the back we get the witch king of Angmar in wraith form we get Aragorn also known as Strider right here with the quiver on his back and of course that nice cape right over here on his back so really an amazing minifigure actually really wanted him to look like in the movie so i added that cape and quiver and then over there in the back of course we get frodo being stabbed with the morgul blade right there by the wraith witch king of angmar so really an amazing scene over here on my shelf then of course we're going to go and move on to imladris also known as rivendell we get a lot of stuff going on right over here i love this mock this is actually also an instruction from lego mock lock and i will definitely expand this mock area on my shelf in the future when i get the money to do that but you can see a lot of detailing first of all we get the nice balconies right here and this entire floor can actually come off right now can't really do that with one hand but it has a sort of interior on the inside with a lot of room for a sort of dining area as you can see right over there you can see some shapes of tables on the inside so really an amazing mock of course we get elrond over here on top and then we get aragorn and arwen right over here really an epic minifigure definitely an amazing scene right here of course they're sort of saying goodbye and expressing their love to each other before aragorn is going to go on the fellowship of the ring and then over here, of course, we get the original Lego Council of Elrond set, including all of the minifigures right here. We get, of course, the One Ring of Power in the middle, Gimli and Frodo. And I actually really like this Frodo minifigure right here. It's just a regular Frodo minifigure, but without a cape. I think it's quite nice that they included it within this set right here. Of course, we get the nice scene right here with Sauron actually as well 
on the inside over there we get the eye of sauron so really an amazing set in my opinion and then we're gonna go and move to a later scene within the movie which is actually Balin's Thum right over here, the Chamber of Mother Bull. We get, of course, a part of the Fellowship walking into the chamber. Now, this scene right here isn't complete because all of my hobbits are actually currently fighting within my Lego Black Gate of Mordor mock. Within the battle, I have Pippin and Merry right over here, as you can see. We got Pippin and Mary right there. And in the back, of course, I got Sam right there. So really a lot of minifigures that are missing key minifigures. But I mean, I'm going to add them in the future when, of course, my Blackgate mock is going to be cleaned up. And if you haven't seen my Blackgate mock, of course, go ahead and click the card on the top right corner of the screen. But yeah, I love the Mines of Moria. I'm definitely going to expand it because I have a second set of the Mines of Moria. So I can create another wall right over here so I can have the entire chamber of Mother Bull within my Lego The Lord of the Rings collection. So that is truly epic in my opinion. Of course, we get a lot of skeletons right over here in the chamber and over here in the back, of course, we get the cave troll right there. Also missing the chains because they're actually being used within my Black Gate of Mordor mock. Then we're going to go and move down a bit right here. So we get the course airship right there with the pirate of Umbar, I believe. And of course, all of the ghosts, the traitors from underneath the mountain trying to fulfill their pledge right there. So really an amazing set. I definitely want to get a lot more of the ghost minifigures in the future. But for now, this works. I mean, I love this set. And back in the day, I really wanted this set to be something different. I mean, the Minas Tirith set would have been really awesome, or Iskiliath. But now I can really appreciate this set because I have a lot of nostalgia towards it. Although, it would have been nice to have seen a Minas Tirith or Gondor set. Moving on to another scene right here. We get, of course, Shelob attacks with Frodo and Gollum right there. Of course, Sam is within my Blackgate mock. And then moving on to my awesome Lego Battle of the Helm's Deep set right here. I actually have two of the Helm's Deep sets. I combined them to create a bigger Helm's Deep. As you can clearly see, these walls right here are actually higher. I have the big ladder right over here. And of course, the inner wall section right over there is also a bit higher. Now, this section right here is also quite new. Of course, I added the Urukai army set with this little sort of part sticking out in the correct place because you don't actually need to put it on this side but on this side of the deeping wall and of course that side right here is actually just a straight wall as you can see in continuation with the part of the wall which blows up within the movie so this is the correct way to display it of course the deeping wall is a lot longer in universe but i mean this looks good and i'm really happy with it i actually created this around let's say five years ago or something like that so that's definitely something amazing right here really happy with that of course we get the elves marching towards helm's deep now all of my rohan minifigures are currently participating in the battle at the black gate so that is why my mock is actually looking so empty but i will definitely add all of the minifigures in a future showcase of my lego the lord of the rings and the hobbit shelf and what's this we get the witch king of angmar awesome armor set right here which you can actually get yourself by clicking the link in the description down below you can get them from lego raven on instagram and in addition we get these really cool haradrim soldiers of course we get the commander of the mumakil right over there actually with that clown face and next up, we get Denethor, the father of Boromir and Faramir. So we get a lot of epic minifigures. And these are actually a teaser because this area right over here, or maybe even this area on the bottom, is going to be filled with Iskiliath and Minas Tirith. So I can't wait to work on those projects as well. I mean, you know that I have a lot of projects going on within my LEGO The Lord of the Rings collection, but I want to expand my collection as widely throughout Middle-earth as possible. So I want to build Helm's Deep, Rivendell, the Shire, Eriador, I mean, so many areas I want to build within my shelf, and I just can't wait 
to continue building. But we got a lot more stuff to look at. So over here, we get, of course, Isengard. We get the Tower of Orthanc Saruman right over there. We get the Orc Forge, my custom Orc Forge, actually, with the stairs right here. Of course, that bridge. As you can see, we get the uruk -hai holding the White Hand of Saruman banner. So really an epic banner right there. Of course, we get Treebeard. Would also be really cool to create some Ents within my LEGO The Lord of the Rings collection. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see some Ents in the future. And then we're going to go and move to my other part of the collection, which is actually the really cool Lego The Hobbit collection on my shelf. I got a lot of sets we're going to go and take a look at right now. So first of all, I'm going to go and move this to the side right over here. And as you can see, we get the Goblin King battle set, of course, with all of the epic features. All of the minifigures, again, are within my Black Gate mock, but we get Bilbo right over here finding the ring, the Rills of the Ring set. Of course, we get the big Goblin King in the back. Next up, we get this awesome tree right here with, of course, this sort of rocky piece where the wargs are going to attack the tree with the dwarves inside of it. So really an awesome scene right here. Definitely would love to add a couple of trees to this section right here to make my Lego The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit collection stand out. Next up, we got Dol Guldur. Now, this is really one of my favorite parts of my Lego The Hobbit shelf. We get, of course, the nice section of Dol Guldur right over there with lots of those runes. Of course, we get Radagast, Gandalf, Lady Galadriel trying to help Gandalf. And right over here, we get the battle between... The Witch King of Angmar and Elrond, as you can see. This figure is also armored up by the armor of Lego Raven. So if you want to get that yourself, of course, go ahead and click the link in the description down below. And that's Dol Guldur, everyone, within my Lego The Hobbit display. Moving on, we get the awesome Mirkwood Spiders area. So we got two of the Mirkwood Spiders. We get Tauriel and Legolas fighting those awesome spiders. Right over here, of course, we get the glow-in-the-dark eyes on the spiders. So really epic, in my opinion. And what's next to the Mirkwood Spiders area? Of course, we get the Kingdom of Thranduil. Actually added four of the Mirkwood elven soldiers sets right here so definitely an amazing setup right here i love the fact that i could add the barrel rider set over there in the back as well so we get a lot of epic detailing and of course over here we get bilbo inside of his barrel also quite a nice scene then we're going to go and move on to lake town actually of course we get bart the bowman with bilbo and thorin in his boat right over here and this is actually the transition into the Lake Town display. As you can see, we get the Lake Town soldier over here. Really an epic minifigure in my opinion. Only own one, unfortunately. And then we get the monster of the Lake Town. Really an epic minifigure in my opinion as well. And funny story, I actually almost lost this fetter right over here. That was kind of scary, but I mean, I got it back. Of course, we get... Actually, Bane right over here. And what is he doing? He's getting the Black Arrow for his father, Bart the Bowman. Of course, we get Tauriel over there in the back. But what's most important is Bart the Bowman because he's trying to fire some arrows at Smaug the Dragon. Now, that's why Bane is actually helping him. Of course, he needs the Black Arrow. So this is the scene, of course, the battle between Smaug and Bart the Bowman, who will become Bart the Dragon Slayer. So really an epic display in my opinion. Love the fact that I have this really cool Smaug figure. As you can see, the big fire drake. So really an amazing scene right over here within Lake Town. And then finally, we get the two displays right here. Of course, we get Dill. And over here in the tower, you can actually see Bart the Bowman in his different outfit. Then, of course, we get Legolas. And this scene would be a lot more epic if I had some orcs walking right over here, actually. Of course, this is the scene where Legolas is being grabbed by this bat over here on top. And this is actually the bat 
figure from the Monster Fighters theme. But of course, this is the scene where Legolas is cutting up all of the heads of the orcs. So really an epic scene in my opinion. Of course, we get Bayorn right over there and Dane Ironfoot, the catapult of the orcs right over here. Really a nice build. As you can see, it also functions well. I just love the way this is built right here. Definitely looks like a nice actually ballista right over here. It's a ballista. So I can't wait to get more of these. And then finally, we get the Lonely Mountain over there. So we got Feely and Keely, we get Balin, Dwalin, and of course, this awesome minifigure for Thorin Oakenshield. He's the king under the mountain right now. But what's missing on top of his throne is actually the Arkenstone. Well, guess who has it? It's Bilbo Baggins over here underneath the stairs. As you can see, we get the entirety of the interior of Erebor. So really an amazing display in my opinion. And yeah, those are already all of the locations I currently have within my Lego The Lord of the Rings at the Hobbit display. I just can't wait to expand this shelf and I really want to add a lot more sets to this shelf. I would love to combine more sets to end up with different locations within my Middle Earth shelf. I mean, Isengard definitely needs an upgrade. Of course, Rohan as well. And what about the Shire? I mean, I could add so much to the Shire with Bree and of course, Eriador itself with locations from the books as well. So I just can't wait to expand my Lego The Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit collection. And of course, finally, we get the Black Gate of Mordor, but this is my own mock, which can clearly not fit within my shelf. So it's just a mock right here. And if you wanna see an in-depth view of my entire Black Gate of Mordor mock, of course, go ahead and click the card on the top right corner of the screen to watch the finale of my Black Gate mock series. And yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed taking a look at my entire Lego The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit shelf. I really want to expand it in the future. So if you have some favorite locations from Middle Earth you haven't seen yet on my shelf, of course, go ahead and comment them in the comment section down below. I would love to feature your favorite locations on my shelves. So I can't wait to get started on that. And if you enjoyed watching this video, of course, let me know by leaving a thumbs up to support it. Go subscribe to Brickly for more videos. Of course, ring that notification bell to stay updated on all of my content and if you really enjoyed watching this video of course let me know in the comment section down below which of these locations is your favorite and i will see you all in the next video